description as well. And of course, I'm being facetious. This is um, this is Fallout 4. I decided to do a stream today because uh, we have permission and we have the game. And Explosive I was like, well, if uh, well, Joe Igo, thank you for the subscription as well. Obviously, on subscriber streams recently, I've been playing through New Vegas. We finished it like two weeks ago. I didn't want to wait until Sunday to do the next. Fallout stream because that's a long time and by then people are going to be burned out. If they're going to get burned out, I want them to get burned out on my own content here. So we're going to start a new game. I'm going to have a little bit more respect for the story. Explosive. Thank diarrhea. you as well, Saskia Dragon, for the subscription. But I'm going to have a little bit more respect for the story because this is something that not a lot of people have seen. So, you know, if you want to have some reverence for it, I think that's completely fair. We're not playing like an eight-year-old game again. Uh, well, New Vegas was like five years old. But anyway, um, which means I may be quiet during the opening cutscene here, and then we'll do character creation, and then we'll get into zany stuff as we get through the intro. I've played like 20 minutes of this, basically. So I do not know what happens past the the introductory prologue that teaches you how to use vats, Explosive basically. Explosive diarrhea. Platinum mad. Thank you for the subscription as well. And I recognize that it sounds Explosive like... Diarrhea. Okay, and Soulless Buster and Explosive DJ MC gang diarrhea. McGangster Swag. I realize that I'm uh, saying I have respect for this game. Millions of dollars poured into it. Hundreds of people worked on it. Um, you know, dedicated their lives to it for a couple of years, and then, you know, explosive diarrhea. But that's the reality of the, the situation on Twitch. War. Explosive Jesus. diarrhea. Thank you, Foil Fencer. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish. When the U.S. ended World War II, explosive diarrhea. Atomic bombs on Hiroshima. Have no zombie. zombie. Thank you. I can turn the volume up. I'm gonna have to alt tab for a second though. This might cause a small problem. Instead, just pretend there's nothing happening here. Okay, we'll try it like that. Something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon. But it's a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. This is what uh, Vancouver looks like robots, to this day. Fusion-powered cars. Portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. That's uh, it is Dan now Giesling's son. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Sweet, I'll be dead by then. <laughs> 2077, nah, man. Ray Kurzweil, we're gonna live forever. We're gonna be the new Eddie, man. I should probably lower the um, the audio once we actually get into the game. Knock him dead at the veterans uh, maybe not. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right. So this is how we create our our character. So this is where like this is the most important part of. Uh, of Fallout, I feel. So what you do is you really just crank up everything to its logical extreme. Like, if I could get it to the point where we just have the world's largest ears, all the better to hear you with, my lady. Oh, you guys want a, a female Thornforge? I mean, we could do a female Thornforge. That's 
Not a problem. Explosive diarrhea. General Williams 47. Thank you for the subscription as well. Uh, I don't know if I can make a bald thorn forge, but it's possible. Fem forge? All right, we can try a fem forge. That's fine. All right. Okay. Let's. Uh, but you can't see your ears, so we're gonna start. With, I mean, the ears are the the pivotal part, obviously. Um, let's see if we can find it. Oh lord. Um, I'm gonna rank these. This is like the Ermagerd. It's Fallout hairstyle. Young at heart, you know. It's this little ponytail at the back. Picket fences. This is nice 1950s style. No apologies. Agent X, that's like uh, Jennifer Garner in Alias. Miss Noir, that's like Jennifer Garner in the in the hair chair for Alias. Evening out, elegant. Oh, there's more up here at the top. Oh, that's what more along the lines of what I was looking for. Okay, stunning intellect. This is pretty good. Natural beauty, public defender. This is super Jody Foster. No nonsense. Frazzled. Wendy the Welder. That looks pretty badass, actually. The sophisticate. So sultry. Hmm. Parisian Bob should be the name of the character. Summa cum laude. No comments. Um. Rough night. Oh, Lord. Crazy morning. It really ranks them. Rough night is definitely a little bit crazier than crazy morning. Um. Well, of all these, we could just make her, we could make her like Christine, you know? New hairstyle? Love it. Husband, uh, no matter what you do, by the way, this is an example of a, a happy marriage, because uh, the husband or wife, you could pull their ears out until they're like 18 inches away from the center of their face, and they're just like, wow, it's the same person I fell in love with, y even though your face just transformed right in front of my face instantly, He's still as beautiful as the day that we met. Um, which is, uh, you know, again, an example. you got to be supportive. And then, of course, we're going to crank out these ears. There's just no question about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely does. And then this is where we get a little tricky here. Because um, this, we can't... I want to give her like a big old like dinosaur horn at the front of her head, but I don't think there's there's that much to draw from there. Hun, you look as good as the day we met. I told you. Is NL making his dream woman here? Look, everyone is gonna be playing Fallout, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, nuclear war! Oh, it's sad. Mm, this dog." And I'm gonna be like, look, I'm playing as the ear man from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Somebody's gotta do it. These eyebrows, they're not, nothing is changing. Eyebrows. Eyebrows never changes. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I don't, when the eyes glow green as I select them, I don't like it. So, definitely, like, the eyes are another important part when it comes to making your character look very silly. Yeah, that's freaking me out. We can make him real tiny as well. I don't know which one... I feel like tiny eyes might be the dream for us here. Tiny eyes is pretty good. Big eyes... Uh, oh, okay, Explosive that's also diarrhea. scary a little bit. Darmanium. Darmanium. Thank you very much for the subscription. I don't know, the big eyes are freaking me out, but chat says tiny eyes. So I will go for I will go for tiny eyes. One makes you small. <laughs> you do know you've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Yo dog, let's not go too far just yet. Alright, nose, there's no doubt. You go as large as possible. And then you try to like Pull it down, or you try to push it up. Either of these works. Um, I don't think it's tip of nose, Sweet. though. You like my nose, right? Don't answer that. Um, no, not cheeks. All, all I can accept. Oh, we're, I'm actually I accidentally selected cheeks. One sec. Nose full. That's what I'm looking for. And we want that as large as possible. We want to pull that out, of course. Acceptable. Such a cute nose. 
husband of the year. Um, and then I was thinking like one big lip, one little lip would be ideal. Who's walking around the background? It's, it's our robot, dog. My and my husband's robot. Not bad. Stop moving your mouth, man. He did. Not bad at all. I need to make your one lip very tiny. Is this the female Nigel Thornbury? Such a great smile. Absolutely. Chin is another big part when it comes to, like, you know, human beauty. You either go for super tiny chin or you go for a super enormous chin. More along the lines of that. Yeah, that's what I'm looking It's looking a little bit more like Boone-esque. This is Boone's daughter here. I don't know if I can do anything else with that. That looks nice. Neck. We can make the neck come out like this. Come in like this. I think we'll make it come out like that. Sweetie, you look as beautiful as the day we met. Oh, you can't use that line too much before you, people aren't going to believe you anymore. Uh, I want j full jaw, and then that's probably good enough to get started. Explosive diarrhea. Thank you very much, 5-Min Break, for the subscription. Much appreciated. Basically, my character creation in every single game is like, just push all the features to their extremes. I can't, I can't really move you anymore. I still got it. Well, you know what? Self-confidence is very important, so... I, I don't... You know, I'm, I'm not, like, laughing at her. Beautiful as the day we met. I do, let's get some full mouth stuff going on here, though. Oh, if I could get, like, a little lip purse, that would be ideal. Tiny lips are pretty good. Not tiny lips are pretty good. I still got it. And then... What is even left? I mean... We have extras like, uh, you know, makeup and stuff like that. Facial scars. I want this lady to be a badass, though. Full mouth stuff. Alright, don't be gross. You look lovely. Uh, we'll just, you know. Come back here to blemishes, maybe. Give her the seal scars. Uh, I'm taking this way too seriously. Explosive. Tom diarrhea. Sizzler, thank you very much for uh, the subscription there. Maybe we'll keep this as as it is right now. Just that you need a scar though, just to prove that you know she's a badass. She served in like the fucking space colony wars, which is not what Fallout is about, but she did it anyway. Like I think that is a pretty dope scar oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, that works. If it if it would actually apply, which I need to do with spacebar. And then it went away. Oh, you know what? Because I, I probably need to hit enter instead. Uh, space. Except. That's the face I fell in love with. All right. We. Are have changed this into something different than it was where we started. Um, kind of just want her to be like super jacked. Please, I excuse me. I was, I was looking at that. Um, it's very unsettling how you can just destroy this like body. It's like some alien shit right here. And I'll do the guy too, so your baby looks great. Let's just go like full muscular. Yeah, I want her to still have that V taper. I mean, look at those arms. Except. You guys are right, I did kind of create the character from Splice. Like a really muscular alien from Splice. I think we're done. Confirm character. I'm so ready. Don't get into the shower, though. I am Cronenberg, destroyer of the wasteland. 
Oh, right. People are like, put on subtitles. That is something that is a little bit more important after character creation. So uh, I'm assuming that's in display, which is why I clicked on it last. Dialogue subtitles, general subtitles. Sweet. Sweet. Thanks, Codsworth. I do wish I could change my voice. Hey, hun. We should take Codsworth to be serviced soon, don't you think? No, <laughs> I'm about to service you, big boy. Nathan Drake. Why won't you look me in the eye anymore, honey? I look nervous. I look nervous, don't I? Hun. I can't believe it's almost Halloween. Like I need to finish making Sean's costume. I shall attend to your Mom squad? I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. I mean, I kind of feel like... Whoa. Diarrhea. Roderick Star, thank you very much for the subscription. Kind of feel like if you were making a robot to, like, Explosive take care of diarrhea. a baby, you probably wouldn't. Make one that looks like it's gonna, it has like a fucking saw on it. Like, that freaks me out. Dogmaster Ass Blaster, thank you very much for the subscription. Let's see, what do you want me to touch your baby with? My metallic diamond tipped hooks, my uh, diamond tipped saw blade. I don't even know what this is like. Inject him with something, and then, you know, also the flame jet at every uh, available opportunity as well. I actually thought she was gonna pick up that baby with one hand. Like a football or something. Way to go, uh, Bethesda. <laughs> the Red Sox actually won the World Series in 1969. Everyone knows this. Good morning. Voltec calling. Uh, go on. Go on. Nice to find you, ma'am. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, okay. Urgency. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language. I will raise the volume as well. Kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being um, a precious commodity. I'm here today. Is this William H. Macy? That because of your family service. Probably your not, country, but that would be you sweet. You have been pre selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Um, I mean, if there's a nuclear bomb, they're going to give me free access. Sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. His mouth is like a black hole? He really does have, like, That's all. He, like, his teeth are perfectly covered by his lips. It's almost a little unsettling. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so... We're going to be named Thornforge, because Thornforge, you know, it doesn't matter if it's man, woman, child. Thornforge is Thornforge. I'm just raising the volume a little here. Um, obviously, we're going, like, nine Explosive charisma. Diarrhea. Dopey Dragon, thank you very much for the subscription. I think we'll do, like, maybe, like, eight charisma, eight intelligence. And the reason I'd like to leave it at 8 is, you know, in case we get, like, stat buffs, we actually have a chance to use them. Um, exactly. Thornforge is an idea. And then we'll probably 
you know, model the rest after myself. So, Explosive diarrhea. Crasher457, thank you very much for the subscription. You'd be looking at this, uh, you know, if you're like, hey, I'm going to make a northern line here, you'd be like, probably luck, not perception, and then like maybe one each in strength and endurance and agility. Explosive diarrhea. Bibliophile83, thank you for the subscription as well. You win full muscular, why are you not all strength? Explosive no, you know she's diarrhea. Voxel Leaf, thank you as well, but uh, it's, uh, you know, just because she's, those are all vanity muscles. She didn't get those from working on the farm, it's just uh, synth oil injections. Um, let's accept. Wonderful, that's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Probably should hey, say that with the door open. Mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. If you wanna be with me, baby, then... He absolutely refuses to call me down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection. Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? All right. Spin the mobile. He likes that. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? How could Thornforge have a strength of 22? That's my boy. Oh, just wait till they read some books, you know? Like Men's fitness. Well, most of the time. He's got to eat more acai berries. Breakfast. I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Um. Sure, sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Nobody here has a freaking job anyway. Let's go to the park. Codsworth, what's wrong? Oh God, they've closed the door. Something's been loaded. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Wait, we seem to have what? lost contact with what our did he say? stations. Oh no. We do, we do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and It's just the uh, War of the Worlds oh all God. over again. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. No. You, these automatic doors are just incredibly convenient. Explosive diarrhea. Rubber poop monster. Thank you for the subscription as well. Oh my god. Daryl, come on, man. I, this is terrible to say, but the fact that he's holding the baby with both hands and running down this rocky trail, I just... I can't help but think about how horrifying it's going to be if he, like, trips on a rock or something and just face plants into this bridge. See you in it's every uh, man, woman, and child for themselves. I have a feeling he can stop you. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. All right, we got our one adult male, one adult female, and one infant. Let's get in here. Those people outside the gate. Everything we can. NL didn't even think to get the baby. Yo! That's the husband's job. Take, get the lead out, man. Why the heck are we doing couch to 5k if not for this exact situation? okay. I love you. Oh my god! Explosive diarrhea. All right, so definitely everybody on this elevator is super irradiated. We did it. We made it. Well, you know, it takes a little while for uh, the effects of radiation poisoning to make themselves clear. And proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. 
We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stair. I can't believe it. Is that Mathis? We left a minute later. No, no. We don't be. Don't get caught hey. up thinking about that. Up the stairs. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs. Yo, my husband. The you're taking too long, man. Oh, then you just butt in front of that lady. What the lady doesn't have any pants on? What happened there? Hey there. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. That is just a very unsettling haircut for you to say something like that. Over there. Take a suit. This guy looks like my 10th grade math teacher. Yo, maybe like Mrs. Able to flip and move here. I'm cutting the line. Step over to the table. Thank you. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. This guy looks legit. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love Man, thank God the salesman showed up, like, literally 45 seconds before Nuclear Winter. mind you. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh God, honey, what if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. You'll thrive. I just want to... Did you have any family or I just want a part of your private moment. Oh, God. Oh, she's like, look, I didn't sign up for this emotional shit. Just get in the vault. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Hey. This way, please. I'm just gonna get into one of these things. These don't look like... Uh, step in here and put your vault suit on. This is a decontamination pod? I don't know about that so much. Pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Resident sleeper, more like. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. That's the end of the game. Is it safe to have that baby in there with him? Look, I asked myself the same question. That didn't seem like it was on the up and up, but... To be honest with you, being in, like, cryogenic stasis seems like a pretty good way to ride out nuclear wasteland, you know? Wait for 3,000 years for them to rebuild civilization or something. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna drop the baby when he falls asleep. Last thing I need to think of is a nuclear bomb hits and then this dude shattered his baby on the ground by accident. I don't like how every evil person in this game so far has that like male pattern baldness horseshoe going on? That's typecasting, man. That's oh, dude. What if that was Thornforge from New Vegas taking his rightful role as king of Boston? Sean! I kind of agree. Like, I don't think that was necessary to shoot the father. Like, come on. He's got to have, like, muscle atrophy or something.
Alright. I'm very fast.